Here in this video, I'm going to walk you through some of the uh, tips to help add and uh, update artist information. So I have open here the main Atwater uh, at Read website, the front end if you will. I also have the WordPress dashboard here in the back end. This is exactly the same page when you log in with your username and password, what you'll see. So what we're going to do here, we're going to do two, two different things. Um, we're going to click on artists and I'm going to show you how to add another artist on this page uh, when a second artist is to be added. This is set up so it's in uh, three columns so eventually you'll have three artists total in this row and then that will continue on down here to following rows. So in order to do this because we're on the artist page we're going to go from here on the dashboard, we're going to click on Pages. And here is the main artist page. You'll notice Amanda with the dash here. This is kind of a subset, if you will. It's inside the artist page, but this is the main artist page, which is this page right here. So if you'll scroll down, you'll notice that this is in the Site Builder in an attempt to make things as easy as possible. I understand websites are never easy per se. Uh, and you'll notice here under Atwater Read Artist, you've got Amanda and you've got your second blank column and you've got your third blank column. And uh, the easiest thing to do here, let's say that you have a new artist. Um, we're gonna add, that artist is gonna show up here in the middle. It's best to just clone or duplicate what works already. So I'm hovering over the image for Amanda here. You'll see this copy icon and I'm going to click copy or clone. And that places that right there. I'm also going to this entire text block right here, which is this entire part right here. I'm going to go ahead and copy as well. Okay. And then we're going to see the cursor, the crosshairs here. We're just going to drag and move over here into this column. If it moves somewhere else, it's not a problem. Just go ahead and drag and drop into this center column area. And we're going to do the same thing right here. And it's going to go right underneath uh, the image. And in order to change the image, we're going to click on the pencil icon here. And that will open this up. We're going to go ahead and click the X mark to get rid of what we copied and we're going to hit the plus button that will take us to our media library and add uh, whatever image that we drag and drop we upload here it's just a drag and drop and then you would click save changes and very important you would also click update right here so that everything that we did here on the page is updated And if you scroll down, you'll see everything was saved here. We're going to come here and we're going to refresh. And assuming it was a second artist, somebody else, you'll notice that you've got um, the artist right here. The information, clickable links, all that good stuff. I did forget to mention one thing. You're going to, for the image, you're going to come down here this image link field, what this means is, uh, and I'll, I'll come back to this in a little bit, but if you click on the image, where do you want the user to go? And this is Amanda's page on the inside. Same with here. We're going to edit this for whoever your future artist is. We're going to click on text. You can update the information here. You can update the information here. You can also, and again, we'll come back to this, but you can also uh, update the information here. Save changes and update. So because we haven't created a new page yet, uh, let's go ahead and keep uh, this information here. So we clicked update. We have this completed. Now, let's go in. and create a new inner page for the artist. 
you know, let's go ahead and, and make this easy. Jerry Portnoy is going to be famous here. So this would be the process that you would go through. We click update. Let's go ahead and pretend that Jerry's photo is here. Okay, I understand that this still links to Amanda. We're going to change that here in a few minutes once we create Jerry's page. So we're going to go back to pages. And again, it's, it's best to just copy, duplicate, or clone something. Don't create it from scratch. So we see that we have a perfected artist page here for Amanda. We're going to go ahead and click clone. Okay, you'll notice that we've cloned Amanda's page. We're going to open it up and make all kinds of changes here, assuming that we had a new artist. So first of all, Jerry's famous. We're going to put the artist's name right here. We're going to change this URL structure here. We're going to click Edit, and we're just going to put the name, first and last, with a hyphen, just like we had for Amanda. We're going to scroll down and we're going to just start replacing the information um, that we have. So again, we're going to change out the image by clicking on this pencil icon and going through the same process, uh, clicking this red X to get rid of uh, Amanda's image and opening up the media library here to add whoever the new image is. Save changes. You're going to hover over this block here, click on the pencil icon, make those same edits that you need to make. Always work in the text tab here. It prevents any issues to um, formatting. So go ahead again, Jerry Portnoy. We'll make him a soprano. Go ahead and change the email address here as well as here, if we're keeping this, and the URL, if we're keeping this here, if we still have this info. Don't worry about button. We're going to scroll down, and then obviously these pages have a couple different parts. So you've got the Opera bio, You've got videos and you have resume and maybe education. So here you have the opera bio section. Right down here is the content. This is probably the easiest part. Hover over it, click on the green pencil. And then it's probably okay to use this visual tab here. Uh, this is basically like using words. So just copy and paste, save changes whatever those changes are. We're going to come down to videos. Uh, if you have videos for your new person, um, there's two different, each of these four videos has two different sections. This first one, again, we're just going to go in and edit. You're going to paste whatever the YouTube link is that they have. And down here, you can also edit right here what the name actually is that they're watching, the, the, the video caption. Don't forget to save uh, at, at, each, at each step. So for example, you make a change here, save changes so it holds. Down here for resume, the resume is a little trickier. This is set up to be as easy as possible. But because the resumes just have a lot of different rows, a lot of different cells, a lot of different columns, it just is what it is what it is. So the way that this is set up to be as attractive as possible, you'll notice you have 2000, you know, it's spread by year. So you have 2018, 2017, 2016 in this section, 2007 through 2015. So basically, you're going to edit. And as carefully as possible, you're going to copy or you're going to use the cursor 
and make these kinds of updates. You do not want to do anything that would disrupt the formatting here. Uh, so for example, I would not want to click delete uh, here because that would delete extra spaces. I just want to put my cursor over what it is and then either paste or type. And again, if you need to, it should be formatted. If you need to use things like italics, go ahead and use it here. So go ahead and make whatever changes you need to make. Click Save Changes. Then you're going to go down here to, to Other Years. Let's say you have only 2016 through 2018 resume information. And we would need to get rid of something like this. You're going to come to this section right here. You can see kind of a light gray, if you will. This garbage can right here will delete this row or this entire section. Then you can come down here in a similar fashion. You can update awards. And then here in a similar fashion, you can update education. So when you're done with this, be sure to publish. Let's go ahead and publish this. So we just made a copied or demo example uh, for Jerry Portnoy. So I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so for this example page, you'll notice that we've got Jerry Portnoy's, his page with um, whatever updates that you would have made uh, based on the resume info, the bio info, all that good stuff. So I did point out that there was one other thing that needs to happen here. We need to connect. We need to connect when clicked here on artists. Jerry's image and Jerry's link here to the inner page because right now this is connected to Amanda because we duplicated or we cloned things. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back out here on the pages. You'll see you've got those because of the hyphen you've got your two artists here. We're going to click on artists. We're going to come down to Jerry's section here and we're going to update two things. We're going to go back and click the, the pencil and we're going to scroll down to image link and copy and paste and we're going to come here and we're going to click text And just in place of the of the name Amanda, it's slash Jerry Port, uh, hyphen Portnoy, and we're going to click save, and we're going to click update. And what that's going to do is on this page, pretend this is Jerry's photo, pretend this is his information. So from the home page, A user would click on artists. They would see Amanda's information. They would see Jerry's information. And we would click on Jerry's image to read about Jerry. And you come to Jerry's page that you just created. If I click back and I click on read bio and resume, that also takes me to Jerry's page. Here, nothing changed. If you click on Amanda's image, it takes you to Amanda's page. If you click on Amanda's um, link, that also takes you to Amanda's page. So I hope that this cleared up uh, a little bit of the, the manual. If you're able to use the manual as well as this tutorial video, um, just replay this as many times as you need. Uh, this should clear everything up.